this is what they're giving me for my first project? They know I'm new to SolidWorks and just took the essentials class, but yet here we are with a custom complex spring. I've tried using the Helix and Spiral tool, but with no luck. Are there other methods that can be used to create this complex spring? Or should I just look for a new job? Let's not start that job search just yet. Unlike many downtown roads, there are no one-way streets in SolidWorks and we can actually use surfacing and extrude tools in unconventional ways to create our spring. As with all new parts in SolidWorks, we're going to need a sketch. Since we can't create the desired geometry using the helix and spiral tool, we'll need to generate our sketch with the help of surfacing tools. The advantage to using surfacing tools is we can create these complex geometries using simple sketches. For our spring, we'll need four simple sketches to create the desired profile and shape. The first two sketches are needed for the extruded surface that will give us the proper curvature, and the second two sketches are needed for our lofted surface that will give us the desired loft for our spring. So, using the first two sketches, we will extrude a surface along a curved path. When extruding a surface versus standard closed geometry, we have unique customization options. In our case, we are looking for the ability to specify how the surface will twist around the path. Here, we are most interested in controlling the number of revolutions along our curved path. This allows us to adjust the pitch quickly and easily as needed. This extruded surface only completes the first part of our spring profile, the curvature. However, our spring needs to be lofted for the current design. To complete this loft, we'll need another surface that will intersect the previously created surface. We'll achieve this with a simple loft extrude using the remaining two sketches. The real magic happens when we use the intersecting curves tool. This is a simple tool that allows us to get the exact profile sketch we need for our spring without taking additional clicks. We simply select the two surfaces that we created and the intersection curve tool will then generate a 3D sketch based on the intersection of those two surfaces. Now all we need to do to take it home is a simple sweep extrude. In fact, since the spring is circular, we'll only need one sketch and not the standard two sketches generally needed for sweeps. This is because the sweep extrude command has a built-in circular profile to make your life easier. Simply click circular profile and enter the desired diameter. And that, my friends, completes our once feared custom complex spring. Advanced surfacing techniques can be used to solve other complex problems such as editing an existing part from a customer like this impeller that was modeled in a different CAD system. We are able to copy all necessary surfaces to maintain proper geometry, delete unused surfaces, and create our new pattern and combine all surfaces into a single body all without having to start from scratch. Another unconventional approach is using surfaces to split or trim models. Like this speaker housing, where a surface and intersect tool was used to split the face of the speaker without removing any unnecessary thickness or material from the speaker. This allowed us to maintain the proper volume inside the speaker since surfaces, by definition, have zero thickness. No one-way streets. We were able to repurpose conventional SOLIDWORKS tools to create custom complex spring that we initially felt was impossible. This not only saved the project, but is now added to your repertoire of SOLIDWORKS skills. You are now more valuable to both your employer and customer, able to deliver higher quality products, and have increased your productivity. As we've seen, using advanced surfacing techniques isn't just useful for springs, but can be used to produce a large array of complex geometries. Why not try this technique on your next project? Curious? Excited to learn more advanced techniques such as weldments and sheet metal? Contact us with your questions or visit our website to see our upcoming class schedule.